Hey guys, so that was for standard the cool or the not so good. Uh, the cards that I'm not looking to speculate heavily on. Dragon Lord Ataka. This card is 20 bucks non-foil. The foils are crazy expensive. It is rising like no other Dragon Lord. It's very, very good. I'm surprised to see him at her at the her current price. Point seems aggressive. But like I said, this is not really for you guys to speculate on this card or that card. Like one of the best speculations I would probably make would be Tassiger at six dollars. I am very comfortable uh, at him with him, trading for him at that price. The only option, the only thing I'm considering is whether or not I should buy a few dozen copies of him. Uh, and when I buy is different from trade because buy is like cash. Dragon Lord Ataka has by far very good Dragon Lord, uh, extremely powerful. 8 5 Flying Trample for 7, not bad. But in fact, it does 5 damage any way you want it. This card is insane in every way. So it's over 20 bucks right now, which for the non foil, it's kind of crazy. And talking about another card that is getting close to 20 bucks, this. Death Miss Raptor. This card has just gone. I don't know who predicted the card. I don't know. I mean, maybe go into articles and see like if someone predicted the card. I couldn't predict the card. The card is good with just itself. If you have no other creatures except Death Miss Raptor who can morph and activate the morph, still worth it. The body on it with the Death Huts and the ability to Mega Morph. I mean, it's very flexible as a card. I played it. I play it and it's amazing. Uh, it's amazing in the right type of decks. The card is close to 20 bucks right now. I feel like it's like $18 right now on TCG mids. A very strong card. A very. The strength of this card comes from the fact that you just play as a 4 of in the deck and you don't need other morph creatures. I felt like this card would have been really bad because morph itself is kind of bad, especially Mega Morph. But the card, if you have four copies of the card, is actually very, very good. Now, last card that has kind of, I guess, what, it's not really, unlike Ataka and Raptor that has increased in price, this card has just not decreased in price, where everything says that it should decrease in price. Pre-release price and today's price are about the same, and that's very not like a planeswalker this in this stage so narset will eventually drop down to 20 bucks sarkhan i believe is already sarkhan unbroken is already at 20 bucks sarkhan the other one dragon speaker is at like 10 bucks 11, 11 bucks and soren's at like 12 bucks maybe 14 bucks so over like all these planeswalkers drop and plummet in price this is not true for this particular planeswalker which is very interesting uh, the Planeswalker also is trading extremely well. Ataka is trading extremely well. I get a lot of, uh, I never can keep them in my binder. Raptor is trading. Cards that go up in price, people want. And that's why they're going up in price. So all, like, Ugin, Raptor, and Ataka trade extremely well. I could not trade, for the life of me, Ojate's Command, or even Tassigurs are getting harder to trade now. Trade away, I mean, and then Dragon Lord Colagon. So these are pretty much my standard picks. I like if you have these cards, very easy to trade them. If you have these cards, much much harder to trade them. But when you're trying to make a collection and try to trying to build up uh, your collection in Magic in a budget manner, you do want to focus on how liquid a card is meaning how easy does it trade into stuff that you need. Uh, the best way to save money in Magic is not to spend it. I mean, it sounds ridiculous when I say it, but honest, honest to God, that's the truth. Uh, don't spend cash. Try to go infinite or even try your best to trade well and then trade for stuff that you need instead of buying the singles and stuff. And that's what I've basically done although i do buy lots of like stuff uh you, you can also trade extremely well and when you trade extremely well it helps 
control the budget of this game, which is very expensive. Bye, guys.